beautiful people and welcome you to another tutorial my name is Fatima so if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and remember to turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video you'll be notified today we're going to be doing a very quick one I'll show you how to make this beautiful hair wrap okay it's probably a hair um, cap more like a bonnet with um, a wrap to tie it with okay that makes it a hair wrap and I'm going to be making use of this beautiful African print okay and I have also my line in here preferably uh, a satin is recommended but I'm working with what I have at the moment and this is a suit lining here I have a fabric this is a um, 10 20 20 inches by 20 inches here because I'm making use of a 10 is 20 inches in this way and 20 inches the other way so I fold this way and I fold again this way okay so more like a square I have a square to work with now and um, next thing I'll be doing is to take my circle measurements and I'm making use of 10 inches here now this is going to be a small cap okay uh, so it depends on you what you want if you want it bigger fine you can make use of 11 as much as 12 or 12.5 or even about for a hair wrap not necessarily a bonnet for a hair wrap between 10 inches to 11 11.5 is okay okay yes so now i'm making use of 10 i'm just going to mark my 10 inches from this starting point i'll take about 10 inches so here i have a little bit of space 10.2 so i'll take 10.2 here 10.2 10.2 and 10.2 so I'll connect the points okay so the next thing I'll do is to cut it from but before that I'll just place it on a lining it's also folded the same way so I'll fold, place it on it so I can cut everything together now I cut Okay, so when I'm done with this, I need all I need to do is to flip it open and this way. So this way now, the right wrong side of the lining is going to be facing the wrong side of the fabric. I repeat, the wrong side of the lining is facing the wrong side of the fabric. This is how it's going to be placed. Then I'm going to be running a stitch round okay but before i do that locate any points on the circle let me turn it this way so you can see it clearly locate any point on the circle and mark three inches inwards just three inches straight line now this point three inches are marked i'm going to create an opening there you can see this is how it's going to look. Then the next thing I will do is to use this lining to sew so that I can cover up this cut out space. So what I'll be doing to achieve this is going to be placing my lining this way. That's the wrong side of the fabric now. Then I'm going to run a stitch on this place I have created. Just a stitch this way. Okay. Then when I'm done with that, let me just illustrate it with the spin. So you can see, when I'm done running a switch, I'll turn it to the other side. At that point, the opening is now closed. You can see this neatly closed. Give it a good press. Okay. So when this is done, this is the first thing you're going to do. Then I will use now create a stitch round. I'm just holding it down with a pin so that I can demonstrate. The reason why you are going to be holding it down with a stitch so that 
you have the fabric in place. You don't have it moving around because of the lining. So I have used a, a pin to secure it. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch round this point. That is the next thing I'll do. Then after that, I would start forming a pleat. Take it little by little. You know how you form a pleat? I'll start forming a pleat. I'll keep doing this till I cover up all the circle. From this point of this opening all the way around to this point. Forming a pleat. Now when I'm forming this pleat, I also have to check to be sure that it does not exceed or go below my head circumference because doing this now is we are forming the cap already but while you are doing it you take note of at the end of the day you should have the head circumference with about say one inches left for um, a bit of allowance because at this point you need a little bit of allowance okay now when that is done then we can now put it in our band we'll use it this band to cover it up okay now for the band i have a long strip of this is about four and a half inches long strip of four and a half inches okay and i have um, about two pieces here this is 40 40 so i'm going to join it together this way run the stitch about half inches then then I'll be having a very long strip of about 80 inches. So when I'm done having this long strip, the next thing I will do is to sew it from this edge. I'll be sewing it from this edge all the way. But note, when I'm done stitch, let me also illustrate with this pin, okay? When I'm done taking this um, um, stitch here, this place I have the stitch will automatically become my center, okay? Now, from this center point, I'm going to mark the head circumference. Now, the head circumference I am working with is 22 inches. I'll be giving a little bit of allowance, say about um, two inch of allowance. So from this center point, I will divide this 22 plus 2 inches, which is becoming what? 24. Then my 24, I will divide it by 2. That means from here, I will mark 12 inches on this side. Then from this point also, I will mark 12 inches on this side. So at this point, I'm going to be having an opening of 24 inches, which is going to accommodate my this, this, the, the head circumference, okay? Now, once I have taken note of it, um, advisably you notch it on the two side then the remaining side I would I would cover it up with um, a stitch around a stitch downward and on the other side too I will do the same thing I hope you understand that so I'm just going to go to my sewing machine create my pleat and also come back to show you what I'm talking about so guys I'm done with the pleats and the cap has been formed as you can see I've also done the strip, okay, and just like I was explaining earlier, in between the, the, the long strip, I have the space for the head circumference, which is which we're going to use to cover up this split all the way around to these edges here, okay, and all I need to do now is to locate the center of this split, locate the center, And this long strip also, I'll locate the center, but the center is obvious here where we have the stitch here. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to place this center at the center of the, the strip we have here and start stitching it, okay? From what you can see now, I'll just take my pin. Hold it down. Sorry. 
so this is what i will keep doing till i get to the end of this part then i will go to the other side cover it up as well till i get to the end and the cap is done already so i'll just go to the sewing machine finish it up and we see the finishing look of it so guys the head wrap is ready so beautiful so this opening here the essence is to give you room to accommodate your hair no matter how bulky it might be all is left for you is to style it whichever way you want to okay like this and you can form a bow you know you can form a bow and that's it any way you want to style it this is beautiful yeah so i hope you enjoyed my tutorial today if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till i see you in another video bye